Hey guys, uh, so real quick, we'll just review EKG placement in a little toddler. So we'll start with the midprocordial leads. Um, so we'll find the fourth intercostal space and place our uh, V1 just to the right of the sternal border in the fourth intercostal space. We'll find V the inter fourth intercostal space just to the left of the sternal border, and then we'll place V2, which should be right across V1. Uh, we'll skip ahead to V4, and uh, V4 should be in the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line, like so, and then V3 will be right in between the two, like this. And then V5 um, will be will, st will stay in the fifth intercostal space right across from V4, except it'll be in the anterior axillary line. Uh, just in the uh, front of the armpit here. And then V6 will be in the mid-axillary line, staying in the fifth intercostal space. And then V7 will be just past that in the fifth intercostal space in the axilla. And then finally, um, for children, we usually also put V3R and V4R. So V4R will mirror V4. Uh, it'll just, so it'll be in the fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line, but on the right side, and then V3R will also mirror V3, so it'll be in between V1 and V4R on the right side. And now for our limb leads, um, so we, we just finished placing all the mid midprocordial leads. Uh, in children, and especially in toddlers or babies, when they're not able to sit still, it's, it's usually best to, if they're moving their arms and legs, to put the arm leads just an inch or two below the clavicle towards the left for the left arm and then similarly for the right arm, just an inch or two below the clavicle, all the way up along the right here. And um, for similarly for the leg leave leads, if they're not able to keep their legs still, you, you can put them in the lower abdomen pelvic area on the left side for the left leg and on the right side for the right leg. Always remember just to put in the e-medical record number and use with an e in the beginning and it's okay if it's not an urgent EKG to wait two minutes uh, just to let the child settle down so that there's no artifact or, minim or minimal artifact. And always remember if you do see a um, isoelectric line, so if there is a flat line like this on the EKG, that always suggests that there is limb lead reversal. So double check your lead placement and double check where the leads are connected at the cable junction box. Thank you guys.